Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to this channel. Again, I'm Eduardo Galfan and in this video guys, I'm going to show you on how to create a drag and drop files in the form of Microsoft Access. Actually, this video is in response to the request of my viewers for the drag and drop uh, files because this video is just only a preview. So like for example, from Edelberto Fernandez, waiting for tutorial sir. And also this one, I hope that see the code coming soon. And also this one, pleasure and many more. So how to do this? Please watch this guys. So first thing to do is to create a table. So table design, sample record, ID. And this is auto number. And for the file name or file path, hyper link and, and it should be hyperlink guys. Later on, I will show you why uh, we use the hyperlink. And also this one, hyperlink out. And this is okay. Short text. And then for the field, this is uh, not enough. So I will put 150. So save. Let's put drag and drop. It's okay. No primary key. And now let us create a form. So click this, go to create menu, and here you go. Right click to go to design view. And let us adjust the form. And I will remove the layout. Okay. And also this one. And here you go. Let us check for this. Um, okay, so why I use this hyperlink? For example, okay, so this link guys is just a hyperlink, it's not a file path, so we cannot use this. So, this is the purpose of hyperlink because if we use it in the ordinary file, which is the short text, we cannot do that. So, as you can see, it doesn't work now. Our objective is to get this um, file name, lobby.jpg, and put it here. But before that, we will we will create a or we will insert an image frame. Okay, something like this. Okay, this tab, this one, guys. Okay, so this is the default picture, guys. So if in case there's no value here or the value is not found, the file path is not found, so this picture should appear. So we will put a a control source for this. The source would be this one hyperlink out. So just put it here. Okay. And by the way. try okay something like this now guys let us get the what we call this one the the file name okay code builder okay so this is just a minimal code guys don't worry so the new path as string and in the next is them uh, for example is the r source a string also and then for the value of this new path um, new path equals whether we the new path would be in the drive c especially the desktop i will save it in this tab and it's up to you guys if you want to save in your drive d then you can you can have it so drive c sorry then users slash uh, user. Why I put user? Because this is the name or the user name of my computer user. That's why I put it like this. So, and then this tab. Okay. And then for the value of this source, the string source is me that hyperlink and that hyperlink then address okay something like this now let us get the file name this is it me that 
hyperlink out then write why write because it's in the right let's see it's in the right okay right then me that hyperlink n then len that me that hyperlink in by the way guys if you don't know how to use the len function you can watch my video about this and also i will put the link below so that you can watch it also directly so nstr rev so this is uh, it's all about getting the last uh, value last value from this criteria guys okay okay oops one two okay lacking one so let, let us try so Ruby okay it's being reflected here the the name but as you can see there's a hashtag so our code is not enough so me that hyperlink out equals left then me that hyperlink out then len function again then minus one why minus one because only one we will take out the one value let us try ah here we go guys so lobby.gpg lobby.gpg about this one okay and what if we will add or we will drop from the other source okay it's not being uh, read because um, this file is not in the desktop so we will continue our coding guys this one I almost forgot new path okay let's try okay but still it should be this one should be copied here so we will copy it it's not a problem file copy then str source then the destination would be me that hyperlink out okay and then if in case there's an error resume show next okay i think that's enough then i will drag this okay so it's being copied here guys what about the apple okay the apple also being uh, copied so this is enough guys um i hope this video helps you a lot and if you have some questions you know what to do you can just comment it down below so that's all guys thank you and see you to my next video